But I first came to Tanzania in 1999. There was a lot of disease and a lot of fear. That first time MSU's Charles McKenzie came to Mafia Island off the coast of Tanzania, about 75% of the people tested positive for the parasite that causes this, lymphatic filariasis, better known as elephantiasis. Filariasis is not like malaria. It's a very, it's a, it's a disease that not a lot of people wanted to think about. In my view, Tanzania had the most affected or diseased people along the coast. And I think Mafia Island was, you know, ground zero for disease. You get it from mosquitoes. It's a parasite that invades the body's lymphatic system, creating a buildup of fluids in the extremities. The goal for Charles and his team, to find a way to keep people from getting the disease. That limb will start to not be able to protect itself, meaning the skin, which usually keeps bacteria and other things out, will start to be unable to protect against secondary infections, particularly fungal infections. Mafia Island is a kind of living lab where a concentrated and relatively isolated population could be studied. Charles is a veterinary pathologist working on human diseases. These are two typical people that you'd expect who were very severe 20 years ago, who are now not back to normal, but back to living a no much more normal life. So for us, that's a success with a condition that was not supposed to ever get better. He saw potential in two drugs, usually given to animals, that when combined and taken regularly, could prevent the disease and, over time, even cut down the number of active parasites inside those already infected. He worked closely with Tanzanians like Mweli Melisela. I was a mainly human parasitologist. He was a, a, a veterinarian, but we were both looking at the same things and we were looking at them in animal models. The causes of diseases is, don't really they may affect a species more than one other, but the mechanisms are the same. One of the biggest challenges was getting people to take the drugs. Once word got around that they could not only prevent the disease, but also greatly reduce the symptoms, well, things got a lot easier. Once I ask people, how do you feel? And they say, wow, the program has done so much for me. I'm no longer sick. I feel so proud, actually, really proud. Getting the entire country of Tanzania aboard for a prevention and treatment plan has been a daunting task. But for Charles McKenzie and his in-country team, his collaborators and partners, it's all been worthwhile. It wasn't just in one place, so we expanded to a region every year, and that way we were able to expand very quickly, and this year we've reached full coverage of the country. Now most of people do know why should they take drugs and they've seen the people who have improved. Yeah. So I can say the future is so bright. If there are lessons to be learned in terms of partnerships, this is one way and this is one great uh, example. These raised hands show the kids who've never even heard of the disease evidence of the massive impact of this work in a place where almost everyone used to have the disease-causing parasite. But for Charles, He's not quite done here. Success would be that there are no new cases, and particularly there are no children who have the disease. I just, I just like to see it end. I'd like to see no more of anything, but clearly it's working. There's no question. 